Hi, this is Bob, outside Boston, Massachusetts. It's Sunday, September 21st. This is the last day of the 16th week on the diet. This video is in two parts. The first part is where I do a short reading so I can determine how my speaking is going. In the second part, I talk about the events of last week. So here is the first part of my reading. There is never a fee or eligibility requirement. One call is all it takes. Staff are available during normal business hours, Monday to Friday. After hours appointments are available as needed. All service link staff conversations are confidential. <clears throat> Okay, excuse me. So that's my that's the first part of my reading. The second part is my uh, is what happened the last week. Basically, nothing happened other than uh, I cheated. I I sort of left the diet last week. The this was the sixteenth sixteenth week. So I guess Sunday of the 15th week and Friday and Saturday of the 16th week, I had some desserts. I had ice cream. I had candy. I not. I had uh, uh, two, two cookies and I had two cupcakes. And that was where I cheated um, the diet. So that's. Uh, Consequently, well, I don't know if consequently, but the bloating in my feet has returned. Uh, I reported on week six, I think it was, that my feet, the bloating had gone down. Well, it returned today. Um, now it's tough to get my shoes on again. Uh, and I guess it was because I cheated on the diet. Just goes to show you how fragile my health really is and how dependent it is upon staying on this diet. Which, by the way, I plan to do on Monday. I'll go back on the diet, stop cheating, and I'll be on the diet for real. Um, the other thing is I wanted to mention that I have to readjust expectations about this diet. When I first saw it came upon this diet in 2012, I had amazing results after only nine weeks. This time, it's not nearly as good, much more difficult, much more frustrating, much tougher to be on. Last and, and last time, I started in better shape. This time, I'm in a wheelchair, which I wasn't in 2012. So, I've, had, I've come to realize this is going to take three or six months. This could take one or two years. I mean, I have no idea other than... This is not going to be so easy um, as I hoped at first it would be. And the other thing I want to mention is I'm not alone in this. There are people in Facebook, and I'm glad that I read them. They said that uh, they've been on this diet a couple of years, and they're, they don't regret being on it. I mean, they do have progress. But their progress has come in layers where each, it's sort of one woman described it as layers that once she reached a new layer, she had new problems. So it was a, a long, long process for her. She doesn't, um, you know, she's happy she did it now. After she's been on a diet like two years. So, anyway, the whole thing was that 
Dr. Waltz's experience is probably an anomaly. I don't know, there aren't many people who said they're walking after six months. That's a very, you know, that's probably outside the normal. Um, so, uh, that's the way it is. You just, you know, just, I'm not, I'm trying to take the diet less seriously. At first, I was like, you know, worried about every little thing that I ate. Everything was of major importance, and the diet invaded my every thought. And now, I re now that I know it's going to be a long, long time for of this thing working, I think it will work. I think it is the only way. Uh, out of this mess I'm in, uh, but it probably does no good to be obsessive about it. Anyway, that's it. Um, my symptoms got worse because I, well, I think because I cheated, and uh, that's the end. Um, I guess I'll be back next week to talk about what happened that week? Uh, tomorrow will be the first day of the 17th week on the diet. Bye-bye.